Marcus Wurzla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Today we are going to talk about uh, a very interesting topic, an often asked question that patients bring to the gynecologist's table. Are vaccinations a good idea if you're trying to get pregnant? Vaccines help protect against specific infections caused by bacteria or virus. They are administered by a you know healthcare provider, could be a nurse, could be a doctor, by injection, by a nasal spray, or by a pill taken by mouth. Vaccines usually contain small pieces of the bacteria or virus in a weakened but live or killed form. For instance, the chickenpox varicella vaccine is an injection containing very weakened particles of the chickenpox virus. The virus in the vaccine is not potent enough to cause an infection in most cases, but it can uh, stimulate uh, the immune system to make antibodies. These antibodies help protect the person against future infections. Now, so what do you need to know about vaccines if you're trying to also get pregnant? Vaccine can help prevent serious complications during pregnancy. For example, rubella is a viral infection which can lead to miscarriage or serious birth defects in a baby if an unvaccinated mother is infected when she's pregnant. Getting vaccinated before pregnancy against rubella can help prevent this infection and its serious consequences. Flu is another infection called as influenza, can also affect both mother and child. If a flu infection is contracted during pregnancy, it can lead to miscarriages or premature labor. The flu can also lead to serious lung infections in the pregnant women and even death. Flu vaccines can prevent pregnant women from getting infection or cause the infection to be less severe. So when is the best time to be vaccinated? Some vaccines such as the ones for hepatitis A or B or for influenza are safe to receive before and during pregnancy. Other vaccinations such as the ones for chickenpox or rubella contain weakened but live versions of the virus or bacteria and are best given at least one month before a woman conceives. Talk to your health provider about how to schedule these essential vaccines and you can uh, have them administered as and when you plan. So what are the side effects from these vaccines? Most people experience little to no side effects after receiving vaccines. Sometimes after receiving a vaccine by injection, a person might have some skin um, swelling or redness or muscle ache at the site of injection for intramuscular vaccines. But if you're allergic to certain medicines, foods or other substances, you have to discuss this with your healthcare provider before getting vaccinated or understand more because some vaccines may contain substances that uh, you may be allergic to. Can vaccines cause autism or birth defects? This is another very important question and often uh, uncleared doubt that patients have. Well, there is no medical evidence that vaccines can cause autism or other issues in children whose mothers were properly vaccinated. Instead, not being appropriately vaccinated can lead to serious health problems for both mother and child. Therefore, it has to be administered at the right time under the guidance of a healthcare provider. If you want to understand more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.